day of the cycle. We're working our weak side. Stops. Guy on top has had an arm. We can't get the underhooks back. We got a lockdown in. We're trying to. It would be nice if I could get the underhooks in and work my underhook half guard game, but I can't. It's too tight. All right. <clears throat> so always remember to minimize this passing ability here. Blocking the knee. I love blocking the knee. You can block the hip here. Keep them nice and low. He's going to try to go no hand pass on you. Keep the pimp arm strong, overhook him in fats, nice and tight. And the transition from the lockdown to the superstar, that's got to be nice and smooth. You got to be confident with it. A lot of times you don't want to let go of that lockdown. You feel as soon as you let go of the lockdown, it's going to give him a chance to pass. And that's true, but you got to be confident in your life lines. And this left right is it's got to be constantly clenched. You can't leave it loose or he will pass. Swing up. Kick it out. Swing it up. Kick it. Kick it forward this way and then up and out. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right, so you have to be confident and go on for the lockdown. Getting that butterfly up. All right, and then from here, as soon as I, he feels the super stomp in now, he's going to squeeze his knees together because I'm trying to put a butterfly, which means I'm trying to pull my left leg out. So he's naturally going to squeeze his knees together. Now we're stuck here. Not even the strongest butterfly can pry open his legs so that I can slide my left leg out so I can have both butterflies. So what I got to do is continue to keep the pep arm strong, but with the overhook, I'm going to bump him and just tilt him to make him open up so he can base. So I tilt him. He's going to base with his knee. That's when I pull the leg out. We got to make him open up just a little bit. The pimp arm turns into the underhook. That's got to be a smooth transition. We got to maintain upper body control. And from here, in the cocoon, we're going to swivel back. Underhook up and around. Grab the tricep. And we're going to try to sweep it here by the bases. So we go to the pyramid. Keeping the overhook nice and tight. I'm thinking about a triangle. But he was able to stuff my knee and now he's going to pass. So when we're here, anytime he's stuffing the knee, I'm going to keep his wrist there. I'm going to trap his wrist to his hip, swing the butterfly back through, and now we continue with that butterfly sweep that we wanted in the first place. And we're going to always end up in three-quarter mount just to make sure your butterfly sweep was perfect. So we're, we're going from half guard to butterfly, butterfly sweep attempt to pyramid, looking for a triangle, maybe it don't look like He stuffs our knee, we go back to butterfly. So we're going from butterfly, pyramid, back to butterfly, and continue with the sweep. All right, just always remember that when a guy is pushing that knee down, his wrist is in a vulnerable spot. If I could pin it to his hip and get that butterfly back in, he has no base. You just gotta do it lightly and quick. It's gotta be smooth. Otherwise, he's gonna pass at that point. All right, so he's got head and arm. He's, I can't get the underhooks. We're working on our stall from the weak side. Keep the pimp arm strong. Overhook in advance. Lock down. Super stall. He squeezes the knees together. I got to tilt him. I got to make him open up those knees. He opens them up. I pull my knee out. The pimp arm transitions into the underhook. We're nice and tight here. I'm going to swivel that underhook through. Tricep control. Try for the sweep. Fails. We automatically go to the pyramid. He starts to pass here. If we don't do anything, he's going to pass. He's controlling my knee. I pin that wrist to his hip. Get that butterfly back in. Continue with the sweep. One more time. Remember, with that sweep, one butterfly does the elevation, my right foot. My, if I keep my left butterfly in, it's not doing anything for the elevation. So put it to work by pushing up off the ground. My, my right butterfly is the one elevating him, and my left foot is pushing up off the ground. Adding a couple more inches. Pimp on the strong, overhook in advance, lock down, can super stop, he squeezes his knees together, I tilt him, 